So, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, I'm gonna see if I can get what I have in this box up and ready to rock and roll. Get the monitors all held up. So, let's take a look. All right. What do we got to here? I know, sometimes I don't understand Amazon packaging. So we have a Vivo Vivo triple mount. We're gonna get this thing all hooked up. Let's see what's going on with it. All right, so I've got everything out of the package here on the floor. Um, I guess we're gonna start yanking, tearing down this whole area on top of cleaning it. So, might as well just uh, get started. I think I'm gonna mount it on the far right corner here because it's wide, it's really wide. I'm gonna mount it on the far right corner here, pull the Xbox and the PlayStation forward. I'm gonna be eliminating this and this. Hopefully it'll free up some more space. If this damn mouse pad wasn't so Jesus large big. I mean if you look it goes from here all the way to here and then it goes all the way back like there's only probably about six inches left on the back side of the uh, the desk there so but hey whatever not that big of a deal so I'm gonna start tearing this stuff down my, I should probably just turn my computer off oh uh, Samsung, it is the LC24F, I think, I think that's the part number code for it or whatever. This one, I mean, it's cheap, I think you only paid like 140, 150 bucks for it at uh, at Walmart, it's curved, as you can see, um, but it's actually pretty darn good, it's only a 60 hertz monitor, so I don't game on it, but other than that, I mean, I like it, it, it works pretty darn good for everything else I do with it. So it definitely, it's definitely too heavy for this thing. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Now can I, how close can I get this thing? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's about as close as I can get it.
Yeah, so this is going to be way far. Because the bend radius in these things aren't the greatest. That looks stupid. Holy cow. It's way out there. So, I think I'm going to try and move it over. Mount the 34 to the center one here so it's centralized and put this one on it um, and we'll do it that way. We'll see how she goes. Okay, so we've given ourselves a solution here. I actually put this desk all together so I actually took it apart real quick, slid the desktop back, remounted it, called it a day, gave me plenty of room to mount everything. So let's dig in. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm only going to run one arm for right now. So I'm going to put this whole contraption on, but I'm only going to run the um, side that's not up against the wall here for my smaller 24 inch monitor. And then once I get my other one, I will adjust this whole assembly accordingly and make it work. So, and we're actually going to go a little bit higher than we did last time because um, I feel like the monitors were a little bit too low. So we're going to go down to right here. So I got it tight, just found some little channel locks. Let's see how this guy fits. Oh. That's about perfect height, yeah. Looks good to me. Now there's a little screw that goes on top to lock it in place. So I'm gonna throw that in there real quick. Yeah, we are solid. Yeah, that looks like a really good height to me. So, and I have a little bit of height adjustment back here on that uh, this little adjustment thing back here that I can mess with to raise and lower it a little bit. But I feel I think it's good to be honest. Why is it so low? Hmm. Oh, there's height adjustment on this thing too, so I'm gonna adjust this way up. is higher. Dang, I wish this whole mount setup was higher on the monitor. The monitor mount is really, really low. I think that's why it's doing that. I mean, that's still not bad. I'm cool with that. But I do need to put the nut on top, tighten her up a little bit so that it doesn't wobble so much. Let me see 
some here, so I'll just use these to tighten her up. It's a little wobbly, a little loose, but it's not too bad. I can adjust pretty easily. I think I'll tighten that up just a bit. There we go. Now I just gotta get them straight. Pretty straight to me, so I'm gonna adjust this monitor all the way down, slam it. Drill. Made it super easy. Probably make it easier if I just take the monitor off. Just take the monitor off, slam it all the way down. It's all the way down. That's better. I like that. Heck yeah. I know that it's leaning right now because of how it is. So it'll be higher once I get the other monitors on it. It's just sagging as it is. You can see how much it sags there. It's not too bad though. Um, or like that. Something like that. Let's pull up a chair and see how it looks. Adjust it this way a little bit. Other than that, heck yeah, that placement's pretty darn good. That's right about eye level. It could go a little bit lower 
but then I can also, oh, I can't even roll yet. But no, yeah, if I'm sitting straight up and down like I'm supposed to be when I'm gaming and everything, that's pretty much at eye level, so that works perfect. I'm super pumped about that. Cool, well, let's continue. So, I didn't do a whole lot of wire management because I thought to myself, in about a week or two weeks, you're going to be tearing it all back apart again, moving it again to do the triple 24, uh, tw triple 24 inch monitor setup. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to leave it. Leave it for now. It's cool. Not worried about it. Um, I will go back through and do all the wire management as needed. I did clean it up a little bit. It's a little bit better now, so I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, I'm going to... I think this is going to be it. I got my mic up here as well. So this this goes about the same place where I need it. I do, well, I'm going to readjust my uh, camera there to get that to fit and aim at me while I'm gaming. But it, it uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. I can't wait to do the triple, triple 24s, but I think uh, let's get everything turned back on real quick. Check it out. I don't know what it did, but I got them working. I literally just un unplugged the ultra wide, plugged it back in, and it was fine. Let me make sure. Yep. Setting this correct. Okay, so we got OBS Studios up, and, uh, We got OBS Studios up here. Okay. I have to do anything. We're gonna be sitting about here. So if I go it's about perfect. Yeah, that feels really good. I'm in I'm in the picture perfectly. It's closer to me now. It's not as far as away. I think this is a whole lot better. I think I like this. I, think I like this a little better, to be honest. Oh cool. We will just go with that. I think this is a little crooked though. Yeah, there we go. Well, cool guys, we will we're gonna end it there. Um, in the next video about this, I'm gonna get I'm gonna have another video about tearing into the uh, sensor some more. Um, but next video about this whole setup will be when I'm adding when I'm removing the 34 and adding in three um, 24s. So. We'll, we'll see how, uh, how everything goes. Um, like I said, I don't necessarily like how low this one is. It's really not that bad. I'm not all that worried about it. So um, I, I may just leave it. Having it kind of a curved setup, having my, my monitor up a little bit higher than this one, 
set off to the side and being a little lower really doesn't bother me all that much granted this will be this whole assembly will be moved over more centered on the desk um, uh, I mean I like it like this I may even leave it like this and bring the other monitor this way but I don't want I don't want to be able to see really this monitor so we'll have to see we'll, we'll have to see how it goes but I'll see you guys in the next one like subscribe leave a comment hit the bell notifications so you know when the next one comes up if you like this, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of monitors you run. Let me know what your favorite game is. Leave it in the comments.